Hello, and welcome to another instructional video from the Tech Savvy Science Teacher. Today we're going to talk about how to generate individual grade reports in eSchool Data. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign into your eSchool Data account. You should see a list of classes and all the different course codes right next to it. Pick the course that you want to start with and click on the course number. Now, your gradebook attendance sheet should pop up and look something like this. You're going to want to click over on the arrow next to gradebook. When you do, you'll get this drop-down menu. The next thing to click on is template management. Note, this is only something you have to do once, and once you have the template set up, you can use it for multiple classes. There are two different types of templates, performance report templates and gradebook report templates. I find that performance report templates are the best for creating individual grade reports. So what you're going to want to do is click on new. That will bring up this sample template right here. First thing you should do is give your template a name. Whatever name you want, this is only for you. The next thing you want to do is check off any boxes that you're going to want to have included in your report. You can always change this when you're running the report, but it's helpful to have these defaults set up. Usually, I have checked select all categories and assignments because I want to show all the categories and all the assignments that I've given. You can also choose to include a class average if you'd like to. You can show just the missing work. You can include midterms, all different things. You'll notice there's a lot of little boxes here with different information. And I know it's a little hard to see right here, but it'll be easier when you're looking at it on your own screen. There are tiny X's next to each section. So you can feel free to get rid of any of the sections you want. Let's say you don't want this information down here that says please sign and you know bring back to the meeting. Click the X, that box is deleted. Maybe you don't want to you know put the date on it. Fine. Maybe you don't want to have the title on it. Click the X. Whatever sections you do not want reporting on your grade report, just click the X to get rid of them. Now that you have your reports generated, or I should say your templates generated, you can go ahead and generate the actual report. So same thing, you're going to click on the arrow next to gradebook, and this time we're going to click on generate reports. This screen will pop up. First thing you want to do is select the marking period. Unfortunately, you can only do one marking period at a time. Then you select the report type. We chose performance reports. That's the template we made, so that's what you're going to want to make here. Once you do that, it'll ask you which template do you want. For example, I've created two different templates for my own use. They're individual student report that gives me all their grades, and I also created a report that just gives me their missing work. So you can click on whichever one you want, and then you can see here it's automatically checked all the boxes for me for all of my assignments. Once again, I can check or uncheck certain boxes if I don't want them included. Lastly, I can select all students and get a separate page report for each of my students, or I can just click on the boxes next to the students' names that I want. Once I'm done, Click Generate Selected Report. Depending on what browser you're using and how your computer is set up, it might automatically go into your Downloads folder. It might automatically pop up. You'll have to see what happens. But I would say if you can't find it, check your Downloads folder because there's a good chance that it went there. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments if you have any suggestions or of how I can improve this video, or if you'd like to see videos on some other topics.